Tony Khan. Let me tell you something. Y'all charged up. I actually am enjoying this. The Rock said, shut the fuck up and enjoy the ride that you are going on. Why is everyone so riled up about Tony Khan putting that video out and looking like a damn fool? I think it was fantastic. What am I talking about? So, Ariel Hawani sat down with Phil Brooks, CM Punk. And I watched the whole thing. Very good uh, interview. Phil had his coffee. Ready to talk, felt good. He had his his uh, cast in, his WrestleMania, everything's going. Ariel Hawani was like, "Listen, I'm just gonna be asking you questions. If you don't want to answer, it's all good. You know it is what it is. But you know, I'm gonna ask." He's like, "Phil, uh, uh, CM Punk is like, hell yeah, you know, ask what you want." So let's just get to the let's get to the nitty gritty. So a question was asked about backstage, and you know. Uh, Tony Khan said he feared for his life. He was in fear for his life because CM Punk lunged at him and he didn't know what was going to happen. So CM Punk told Ariel Hawaii, he said, listen, this is what happened. I'm paraphrasing. He said, look, there was a whole, uh, this dude, um, Perry was cussing people out. Shivani comes to me, I'm minding my motherfucking business in the back. You know, I'm greasing up my elbows and, and, and chest for the ladies. I'm out in my business. Tony Schiavone comes to me. He's like, yo, Perry's out there cussing out all the people. We need your help. I told, he said, I told Shivani, listen, you need to go get the senior staff to go handle that. Because he's not supposed to be here no motherfucking way. Okay, go get the senior staff to handle that. I'm going to stay back here and finish greasing up my muscles or whatever. Shivani was like, nah, man, he ain't listening to nobody. He talking too much. I don't know what to do. CM Punk said, listen, if you want me to do it, I'm going to do it how I'm going to do it. And you ain't going to like how I'm going to do it. I'm just letting you know. Shivani was like, listen, do it how you do it. I'm all for it because I already know how you get down. CM Punk was like, all right, cool. So we, he, he said, I went over there. I walked step to, step to Perry. I was like, yo, what's going on? Why are you talking shit? We don't want to use real glass. We're going to use fake glass. We're going to be safe here. All right? I'm older. I got shit to lose. I'm not trying to be breaking myself up for a cheap pot. Calm the fuck down. Perry, we don't know what he said. I'm sure he said, nah, motherfucker. I'm out here trying to make a name for myself just like you. Back the fuck up out my face. CM Punk was like, come on, man. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to be professional. Chill the fuck out. Your mouth is going to write a check your ass can cash. Uh, what's the name? Uh, Perry was like, yeah, well, I'm writing a check. It's worth $200,000 or more. Cash that motherfucker. CM Punk said, looked around. <laughs> All right, this motherfucker trying to test me. I'm going to ask you one more time. Perry said, do it. Do it. So, CM Punk looked like he pushed him a little bit or tried to swing or something happened. Either way, Perry jumped back, got put into a chokehold. Uh, you can see, he said, uh, I just choked him a little bit. I ain't punching nobody. That's what he said. Fast forward. Boom. All of a sudden, Tony Tony Khan must have been somewhere quaking. He was like, this motherfucker is not about to be talking about me. Tony Khan was like, absolutely not. I'm serious. I'm not going to sit back and take this fucking shit. You heard what he said? That's what Tony said. He said. I'm serious. I'm not going to sit back and take this fucking shit. I'm not going to sit back and take this fucking shit. I paid that man good money and he's down. He's sitting over there with that damn Ariel Hawani talking about my company not being a real company. And I'm a piece of shit. And I'm a clown. And I'm a dork. And I'm a dick sucker. Like, what? I got something for that ass. So, what Tony Khan did, he was like, yo, um, super kick party. Come over here. Let me holler at you. They was like, yeah, what's up? We ain't got nothing going on. He says, what we going to do? I'm going to drop that footage. They was like, the footage. He was like, yeah, the footage from the fight. They was talking about, what, you talking about that fight from a year ago where that dog got his teeth kicked in? Yeah, that one. You talking about the, um, from All In? Where it was like a whole thing? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to release that footage. Because this motherfucker over here talking about what he did. I'm about to show everybody what he did. And that way, they can know the truth. Super Kick Party was like... I mean, it is what it is. We here trying to get a paycheck. You know, my wife just had a kid. What you think, twin? Twin was like, yeah, I guess. Whatever. We could do it. Boom. Tony Khan like, all right, y'all. Come Wednesday. We about to show some footages. Be there or be square. Everybody turned around like, because we was watching WrestleMania. So, ain't nobody was giving a fuck about what AEW do. So, when Tony Khan was like, hey, everybody over here, we got the footages. Everybody turned around like, you got the footages. 
when you gonna put it up there? And he was like, I'm putting it up there on Wednesday. And they was like, oh, all right, cool. So, boom. Monday, Tuesday went. Wednesday came. Bam. I turned it to AEW right after um, fucking The Big Bang Theory, right? Because Big Bang Theory, even the reruns, is drawing 2 million views. Once uh, Dynamite comes on, 60% of the audience leaves. <laughs> anyway, I stuck around because I said, wait, I'm here for the footages, right? So I had to sit through the first match. It was cute or whatever. I couldn't even tell you what was going on. So boom, the footage is, is is about time for the footage. So we got the young bucks sitting there, the super kick party. They like, this is what's going on. Whoop the whoop the whoop. This is why this happened. This guy's fucking up the show for us. We couldn't have a good time at the all in. So we about to show you what went on. So boom, they put the footages on. It's no sound. So I set up because I got to see because you know I wear glasses. So this time I had to get the thicker ones that got the more medication in it so I could really see what's going on. So I'm watching this and I'm like, all right, there goes Samoa Joe. I see Hook. I see some other people. I see uh, Jack Perry playing his hair. Okay, boom, here comes CM Punk. CM Punk walk over. No talking. I just see, I just see some head movement. Whoop the whoop the whoop. CM Punk look to the side. <laughs> this motherfucker. When they do that, <laughs> that means this motherfucker. All of a sudden, pop, 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 you know, tighten them up. Two piece real quick. Pull, they pulling them off. Samoa Joe took, Samoa Joe took, um, Perry over to where he was. The other guys took CM Punk where they was. In the middle of that, pause, if you stop, CM Punk lean. It looked like he was, you know, get off me like one of those to tell Tony Khan, Fuck your whole promotion. You a dumbass. I hate this place. Leave me alone. Let me go. That was the footages. And this is exactly was this when they left the footages, this was it. So I'm like, all right. Now what? Now what? Okay. That's it, y'all. I mean, it's nothing else. So, if anything, Dynamite trudges on. Um, I know Mercedes Monet showed up and got her ass beat in the dark by somebody. Um, let me see what else I can remember. Oh, after that, fucking top guys with the barrel chest, them dudes, that one dude that be beating people up in the public. Um, they came out, gave them like some type of speech or some shit they was talking about. Because apparently they're going to tie this in to... Um, somehow that all-in fight fucked up the the top guys and the super kick parties match. And so they charged up and that's going to lead to another match. Is that how that go? So, I mean, I, I guess that's the storyline because like I said, they was talking and then they called them some bitches and Dax reminded them about some shit. Child, listen, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck the whole point of the video. You didn't have to show the video at all. Like, honestly, you could have just ignored CM Punk. I don't even know. Then Will Ospreay, he... First of all, I didn't even know. I thought he was talking to um, Daniel Bryan because they supposed to have this big match. So I thought when he said that Daniel Bryan was fucking the boss's daughter, I thought he was talking about um, one of the Bella Twins. Because that's John Laurinaitis is the stepdaddy to the Bella Twins. And Daniel Bryan's married to Bree. Come to find out, this motherfucker talking about Stephanie McMahon. I'm like, what? All because um, Triple H said that something along the lines of you could... The per he didn't say nobody names, but basically it was like he said some slick shit like... If you you can't handle the workload and the work the, the workload and the travel and all that, then go somewhere and handle that shit. You know, fuck that. And this guy got charged up. It had absolutely nothing to do with the match that you about to have at Dynasty. And then everybody's calling it Dynasty. How do you pronounce the word? I don't understand. Who cares? Triple. Who gives a fuck? First of all, Triple H didn't lie. Them motherfuckers got to do a whole lot of shit. I don't know how many... If y'all watch Beyond the Mat or other, like, wrestling 
um, behind the scenes shows from back in the day, they're telling you we're on the road for 400 days a year and our families are neglected. We cheating on the family. We killing our family. We're doing drugs and dying at high rates and having heart attacks and shit because the grind of WWE is just that fucking bad. So when we finally get to a place where we can get the Roman Reigns schedule, motherfuckers is mad because Roman Reigns ain't on TV. Meanwhile, this motherfucker done worked 12 years straight. Y'all dogged him all the way to goddamn out. Will Ospreay gave, was given a um, contract. This is what we want from you. He said, no, I'm going over here because this is what these people are going to do for me. I, I just don't know. I Honestly, listen, I like me some drama. This is some drama for your mama. I actually find it funny and hypocritical how the wrestling community is just so floored and flabbergasted. Y'all like this shit. Now all of a sudden it's, let's stop the tribalism. We can't be tribalistic no more because it's ruining the wrestling community. Y'all motherfuckers is hateful, evil, and nasty, and racist as fuck. Keep on doing it. I don't think the internet's a real place, so it really doesn't matter. The internet, commu wrestling community, and real people are two different people. And the internet really doesn't matter. But, I mean, everyone is like, first of all, this is not the end of the company. Tony Khan has unlimited amounts of cash because, in my opinion, I think his pops wants to keep him away from other businesses as far as possible because he's running this shit into the ground. Um, it's not going nowhere. AEW makes WWE better. I thought we already figured that out. The reason why WWE is, is firing at this level is because AEW is sitting right there. And somehow AEW has lost sight of whatever the fuck they're supposed to be doing. I, I tapped out of AEW after they lied about the type of promotion that they were. Oh, we're inclusive. You're going to see things you're never going to see before. We're open to everybody. We're going to do this, 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 and this, and this. That place looked just like every other place. And when you ask for a little bit of, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of spice, a little bit of seasoning, all hell breaks loose. So now we just stuck with vanilla bread and vanilla ice cream. Whatever. I mean, it is what it is. Y'all gonna learn that when you spice up everything and put different types of flavors and mix up different things in the pot of jambalaya, it makes things better. But y'all motherfuckers, please, it don't even matter, child. I think Tony Khan felt some kind of way. He wanted to stick it to Triple, uh, Triple H and stick it to um, CM Punk. The shit backfired. Oh, fucking well. You didn't get a pop in ratings. You didn't get nothing. You actually overshadowed your whole fucking show. Because I couldn't tell you shit else that happened after that. Because guess what the fuck I did? Start playing my little phone game and went to damn sleep. Okay? That's what most of us did. And then you wake up tomorrow like, oh my god, I can't believe this. Oh fucking well, AEW is not friendly to families. I'm a, I am have a family. I can't bring my son to that um, show. Y'all act like fucking animals. And you make it clear that you don't want no women in that ring. You just want short white men moving all over the place. We got it. We get it. You done ran all of them people down. It looked like a secondary promotion. No one put efforts into anything, but all of a sudden this man playing a, a old piece of footage is the straw that broke the camel's back. Get the fuck out of here. I'm sure everybody done said what they wanted to say, but you can tell me what you think in the comments. Or if I'm wrong, tell me where I'm wrong.